Excerpts from my translation of The Japanese Linguistic Landscape Reflections on Quintessential Words by Nakanishi Sisuma, published in 2019 by the Japan Library. As always, I'll be reading two entries from the book. This time I will read Shigure and Samidare. Shigure Light showers in late autumn and early winter. Shigure is the noun form of the verb shiguru, to drizzle, which is probably identical to the verb shigurau, a word that appears frequently in Heike Monogatari, the tale of Heike, mid-13th century. It seems that shigurau was used to express the state of many things consolidating in a single place. That's why even today, rains in late autumn and early winter often go by the name shigure, the Chinese characters for time, toki, and rain, ame. In short, these occasional rains, toki no ame, as some call them, fall all at once in a single consolidated downpour at a certain time. Moreover, shigure rains come at just as the bitter winter cold starts to arrive. The rainy sky turns dark and water-laden. So long as these intermittent stick scattered showers, sometimes called furimi, furazumi, refuse to let up, our hearts remain sulky and dejected. Shigure is a forlorn, lonesome kind of rain. While that brooding pathos may, matches perfectly with the ever-present sadness in our hearts, there are times when it evokes a familiar intimacy. A poem by Paul Verlaine, which Horiguchi Daigaku famously translated into Japanese, begins with the following two lines. Il pleure dans mon cœur comme il pleure sur la vie. There is a weeping in my heart, like the shigure rain falling on the town. In short, this is the type of rain that has become synonymous with the melancholy of the city. Of course, Japanese waka poets have sung of the shigure, shigure rains for centuries, as far back as the Manyosho. One of my favorite poems is this poem from Book 1. Uda saburu, kokoro sama nishi. Kisakata no ama no shigure no nagarafu mireba. I am filled with loneliness as I watch the flow of rain shower falling from the sky, from the long, long continuing sky. By Nagata O of the 8th century. This excellent tanka appears in Book 1 of the Manyosho. The lonely shigure rains, as this poem suggests, produce a feeling of such tremendous sadness that you can feel the heavy gloom spreading throughout your whole body, eliciting thoughts of your own mortality. The shigure rains have been known to inspire heartwarming compositions as well. Take this modern haiku, for instance. Shigururuya Eki ni nishiguchi Higashiguchi A shower in early winter. At this station, a west exit, an east exit. By Azumi Atsushi. Years ago, when there was a sudden downpour of rain, crowds of people would cr congregate at train stations, waiting for their families to return from work or school. Here, too, the poet is expecting his family to meet him at the station, but alas, he isn't sure which exit they're at. This familiar scene of waiting for a loved one to appear in a suite is a sweet one, indeed and the shigure rains of bygone days surely provided the perfect stage for those warm feelings. Such scenes may very well occur today too, of course, but people nowadays can use collapsible umbrellas which are readily available. One can almost always find a taxi too. The consequence of all that technological innovation, however, is that human connections have grown shallow. I feel nostalgia for that familiar shigure landscape which is already a thing of the past. And now the second word, samidare, early summer rains. I am always surprised to find that so many people assume the word samidare, written may plus rain, to be an etymological derivative of the word satsuki ame the rains ame of the fifth month satsuki, simply because the fifth month is called satsuki. It is inconceivable, however, that the word satsuki ame, the fifth month rains, 
can have somehow transformed into the word samidare. Samidare and satsuki ame are completely different words altogether. The word samidare appears in the Kokin Wakashio, compiled in, 19, in 905 AD. When you look at the examples in that imperial anthology, samidare denotes a kind of violent rain that makes loud so sounds as it falls, the kind of rain that throws you into a quiet, pensive mood. The fifth lunar month is a time of the year when the long rains, called nagaame, fall in incessant dreary sheets. The famous love chats, Rengai Dangi, in Genji Monogatai, the tale of Genji, written in around 1021 AD, also take place on those dreary nights soaked with rain. Long ago, these rains no doubt produced unhygienic conditions that led to countless outbreaks of pay, plagues and pestilence as well. In short, what used to be called the Samidare rains appear to have been the kind of rains that somehow disturb Midareru in Japanese, the heart, human heart in one way or another. The fact that the first syllable of Samidare is Sa is likely proof that people regarded this disconcerting rain to be the work of a deity. Assuming this line of reasoning is true, and Midare is in fact the origin of the word Samidare, I am deeply moved by the genius of the early modern Japanese for taking human emotions and naming a type of rain after them. Matsuo Basho's famous haiku about samidare is clearer in that light, with the rains reflecting sentiments of the heart. Samidare no furi nokoshite ya hikari do. Have the summer rains come and gone, sparing the hall of light? Here, Basho extols the exquisite beauty and venerable nobility of Nishikido Shrine in Hira Izumi Iwate Pre Prefecture, which continuously preserved its radiant illumination without letting that sheen even succumb to centuries of ominous rain. Basho turned his lyrical sensibilities to the confrontation between natural catastrophe and aesthetic beauty. The great poet Yosa Buson, however, writing in the next century, changed the nuance of the samidare idea when he wrote his famous haiku on the subject, Samidare ya, taiga o mai ni ie niken. Early summer rains, facing the swollen river two houses. In Busson's poem, it is the cluster of traditional rural houses that are contending with the natural disasters. By shifting the setting from the sacred hall of light to the humble, traditional rural houses of the secular world, Busson took a shot at Basho, who retained a certain lyricism reminiscent of the Waka tradition. You can almost see the self-satisfied look on Busson's face at having one-upped his predecessor. In his poem, Busson shifted the focus of the Samidare rain from its somber, depressing feel to its destructive power. <laughs>